Welcome again to Coaching Conversations, a discussion on basic concepts about coaching and its benefits for individual and organizational development. I am Ibrahim Sadiq. During the previous segment, we presented three elements that form a basic framework for any coaching engagement around which both the coach and you as client would interact. Those elements were relationship, process, and results. Today, we will focus on the element of relationship in the coaching framework. Before you establish a coaching relationship, you might need to ask yourself what you want to gain from a coaching engagement. Although you might not have a very clear answer to begin, you should have some idea about what you expect from the coaching engagement. And the answer to this question would depend on your overall concern, whether individual development, business development, relationship issues, or a group or team engagement for your organization. Once you explore options of coaching services, whether with an individual specialist or through a coaching institute or other provider, you might have a discovery session or some type of initial conversation to help get an idea on your requirements. Your prospective coach may ask you to complete a brief information form so that he or she can know a little more about your interests. This initial meeting is sometimes called a discovery session. During the discovery session, your coach would help you more clearly define your goals and you will become more familiar with and aware of the coaching process. Also during the discovery session, your coach will discuss such concerns as his role as coach, your role, responsibility, and accountability, confidentiality, scheduling, and of course, compensation. However, the primary objective would be to determine if a coaching engagement would be the solution you seek, or whether you would need a different range of services such as therapy, counseling, or other types of consulting. If there is continued interest, then you would complete a formal agreement with your coach. The agreement would document some of the points discussed during your discovery session. Once your coach and you complete and sign the agreement, the two of you would arrange to move forward with your coaching engagement. This is a basic idea of how a coaching relationship would start. Of course, there would be some variation depending on the coaching requirements and other factors. In our next segment, we will discuss the coaching process. Until then, stay well and stay safe. And goodbye for now.